on YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Mitos. This part of the video, I'm actually going to um, take the liberty of opening this up and seeing uh, what's inside the box. And also uh, pulling one of the RCs apart just to see uh, what's inside. So let me go ahead and slide this to the side. And through the magic of television, I'll go ahead and pull this mug apart. So I snatched this off. You guys can see that. Snatched that off. The motor was connected to that. Look at this little bitty motor. That's crazy. So yeah, took this off. And what's left is the, uh, the spur and the front and rear uh, differentials. Very, very simple. It's pretty dope. This is my actual first time ever using these small joints. Um, so you got your paperwork in there and whatnot. And then, um, Pull this little guy up out of here. Look at this little baby ESC. Damn, it's like a micro machine. This has got to be at least like an inch, maybe two inches, if that. This is tiny. That's crazy. Yeah, but here's the ESC. Pretty dope. Assuming this is going to be the, uh, the motor in here. The baby box. So. What in the hell? Bro, look how little this nail motor is. Whoa, sheesh. Hold on, time out. Well, it's not too much smaller. Damn, that's a small ass motor. Comparing it to a 800 kV can, this is a All right, it is what it is. So this, again, you guys see it here. I don't know if you can see that. 5300 KV. I don't know how this is gonna do. I don't really know the KVs on these small motors, uh, but they gonna heat up or whatnot. So all of this is trial and error. If anybody is knowledgeable on these small motors, you know, comment in, uh, in the comment section below on the gearing and all that. Um, if not, it's gonna be trial and error for your boy. Um, but yeah, so here we have, here's the motor, ESC. So I'm gonna solder up some uh, some connectors for this. Probably gonna go with something small and then um, we'll go from there. So, all right guys, so, so check this out. All right, so here's the ESC and the servo. So as we know, these are the two holes that bolt down the servo and the ESC to the chassis. It looks like if you take off the servo, there's no way to keep this uh, bolted down. But it looks like what if you cut these off? You may be able to cut these off on the sides and still use um, them as a holding spot for the screws. If I'm no longer gonna use this, then I no longer need these things on the side. So I may cut them off so that I can still use them as uh, screw holes to mount the uh, servo. 
So let me give that a shot. All right, folks, so just like that, I took some Lexan scissors and just chop, chop, chop those sides off. So when you take those off, it also comes with these little, I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, each side of the servo have these on each side. So you have that, and then you also have, uh, where is it? Where's the second one at? Damn it. These are the two spacers that you will need to uh, bolt the servo back down to the chassis. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the servo back on and see what that's looking like. Give me one second. All right, guys, check this out. So I cut them off, so it makes it pretty flat. You have some 3M tape right there. And it looks like you may be able to slide this bad boy, this bad boy right here like that. Just like that. That's all you need. Double-sided tape. Lay it down, boom, boom. There's a motor. This motor tiny, so it ain't gonna take up too much space in the rear. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna sit like right here. Right? So you still got all this room for it to sit back here like that. Or maybe even this way. But we won't know that until we put this, this cover back on it. So we put this cover back on. Let me just see something here really quick. Yeah. So you put the cover back on it. This would have to sit something like this up against the side like that. That way the servos still have room to, the servos still have room to move and whatnot. And uh, should be good to go. All right, so next, we're gonna take this uh, little can and then we're gonna take this can and we're gonna swap the, uh, the motor mount and the uh, pinion. Hopefully it's the same um, size uh, diameter for the, the pinion, so hopefully that's gonna work. But uh, we will soon see. We're gonna swap that off. Let me see. This pinion is the same size. Dang, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna went straight through my finger. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take an emergency break. We'll be right back. Damn. Uh, Houston, we got a problem. So before I go get a Band-Aid for my uh, automotive cut, it broke, my bit broke inside of the uh, hex. So that's what happened, it snapped. Damn. So now this is stuck on here for life. And um, so I'm gonna have to order me a pinion or snatch it off one of these other cars and I really don't wanna do that, so. I may have to pause for a second on this project until I get another opinion. 
in in a couple days, uh, or maybe I can go to a hobby shop. Maybe they have a few or whatnot in this size. I do want this size though, um, an 18 too. But uh, we'll see. So uh, to be continued, guys. Damn. All right, fellas. So since yesterday, so it is now the next day. Um, take a look at the finger. It is scabbed up. It was bleeding. Um, so with that being said, I did break the tip of my Allen um, inside of this uh, pinion. So this pinion is stuck on there um, on the original motor. So I'm unable to uh, take that off. So with that being said, I went ahead and um, uh, got on Amazon and ordered uh, a pinion. So I ordered an 18 tooth pinion with a two millimeter shaft, and then I ordered an 18 tooth pinion with a 2.3 millimeter bore. So this is this is the same size uh, bore from this motor, and this one I'm, I'm hoping that it's the same size as this motor. I don't know if they were going to fit, so I, I bought both. So we'll see. Um, I didn't go up in tooth. Uh, tooth size. Uh, I just want to run in to see how it is. If that's the case, um, then I'll go ahead and um, I bought the motor mount, uh, different motor mount sizes from uh, Horizon as well. So those are on the way. Not Horizon. Um, actual um, A Main Hobbies. I got them from A Main Hobbies. So I got those coming. So just in case I'm able to put some more power to it, I can, you know, bump up the uh, the pinion. Uh, at least I'll have the motor mounts to do so and then just work on getting another pinion. Um, also, I'm going with the EC3 connectors for the battery. And um, I went ahead and bought these batteries here. So check this out. These are from Amazon. I think these are like 20, 26 bucks. This is a 3S 2200 milliamp 50C battery. And it fits like a glove in there. Perfect. If I move this out the way. Yeah. Perfectly sits in there like that. Strap it in, we're good to go. So this motor they say it can go up to 4S if you, you know, adjust the timing on it and whatnot, but I'm not gonna run it on 4S. It's gonna stay on three. 3S. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so I went ahead and went with the um, with the low C, two millimeter shaft, 18 tooth pinion. Um, it was a perfect fit. The 2.3 uh, millimeter board is too big. So those who are going with the smaller motor, know that the shaft on the capsules is two millimeter, you're gonna have to go with the smaller pinions. I'm glad that I bought both to know the difference because I really wasn't paying attention to the diameter of the shaft in the beginning. I was thinking that I was just gonna be able to swap the pin and got this cut on my damn finger for nothing. It wouldn't have fit anyway if I got it off. So long story short, I'm gonna go ahead and button this up and then um, put this uh, ESC on here. Smooth sailing, let's get it. All right, guys, so check this out. Finally, finally, finally got it all buttoned up. Ready to rock and roll. So as you can see here, my camera will focus. Uh, got the motor installed, ESC installed, battery installed, receiver installed, everything is tied up, tied down. Um, I went ahead and just took the, um, the turn on button and pushed it down into the side. Hope oh, you guys can see that. So it's in there pretty snug. Um, and then uh, went online today and ordered a few parts for it. Like I got the front and rear differentials coming. Um, got some shocks coming, got some tires coming. And um, let's make it bulletproof. Over here and up here, um, I ordered a Torn One uh, motor and ESC from a spectrum. So I ordered one of those, but then I'm also, I also ordered the pinion, a 22 tooth pinion 
and a 57 tooth spur that I'm gonna throw on whichever one I'm gonna keep brushed. So brushless will go with a two in one, the brushed will go with a higher pinion, smaller spur. So all three will be getting modified, got tires for two of them, and then uh, and shocks. So we'll see how it goes. And then once the actual CVD um, axles come in, in stock, I'll grab some of those as well. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and button it up and then um, bind my remote to the receiver and then uh, take it outside and uh, give it a spin. Let's get it. Check out my little collection up over there. It's grown quite a bit. Nonetheless, here we have three groms. In the middle, you have the granite. On the outside, you have the Typhons. Typhon is stock, no modifications done. This Typhon has the um, Castle Creation Micro X2 combo with the 5300 KV uh, motor. Running on 3S with the 2200 milliamp battery and an 18 tooth pinion. And that's it. So haven't ran these at all, these are brand new. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, run it first. This one that's stock, just so I can see what it's like out of the box. And then I'm gonna run this bad boy. So it took a couple days to get it all put together, a couple parts to come in in the mail. Hurt myself in the process, um, but got more parts on the way for all three. So to be continued. And um, so I do have this one bound to my uh, DX5C. And then these two are still to their stock radios. So let's get it. Now this is the, the blue and stock. So we're gonna run this. This is on 50%, so let's just bump it up to 100 and get it over with. Oh, shit. battery on my GoPro so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to record how my GoPro died but I'm trying to get one
Damn. Well, there goes the top, guys. <laughs> Who says the top don't come off? Yeah, right. Maybe I didn't click it on her all the way. Yeah, the tires just break loose. There's no... This is 50%, guys. There's no way on these tires could you run this at 100% I'm barely squeezing the throttle look because that's the tip damn this again <clears throat> yeah too much power uh, your boy's gonna get his exercise with this one baby the throttle let me knock it down son I'm gonna knock it down Let's see. Ah. Let's go to 30%. Alright, let's see. That's better. That's more controllable. Until I get the controller things. Yeah, the tires ain't breaking loose. Power slide. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of power. A lot of power. This little motor in here is something to. Uh, it's, it's got some power to it. So I'm going to run this and dial it in. Get used to it. I'm gonna bring you guys back because I got some upgrades for it. I just gotta get used to driving it. Something this small that's so fast. But I wanna pin the throttle, but you really can't because the tires balloon and it tip over. So on 30% is faster than out of the box. On 2S. This again, guys, this is 3S. So, this is a really quick demo. And then, uh, bam. All right, there it is, folks. Before I tear it up, this is your Typhon Grom on 3S with the uh, Castle Mini Micro Combo in it. Check it out. Yeah. So again, guys, the battery. 3S battery, baby motor, I can, I don't know if it's, is it hot, no, not at all, but uh, we'll see, like, comment, and subscribe, guys, got some upgrades on both of these bad boys, well, all three, um, 
coming up on the channel. Until we continue, I'm going to holler at you. God bless. Peace.